Hey, happy scrappers! What's up? For me today, I was trying to replicate a photo frame. I got this idea from Kathy from Paper Phenomena, and she has some phenomenal scrapbook projects. Um, so she did a photo frame out of a canvas and well over here we don't have canvas uh, but we do have photo frames. I brought out my uh, crocodile so I can punch holes uh, to put the rings in and guess what it cracked my frame. So I was like, okay, what do I do? And I thought, hey, how can I replicate this? And this is the idea that I came up with. I'm not too sure whether it's going to work, but I'm just winging it as I go along. But what I did was I, I have two chipboard frames. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, of course, I want the, the cover to be really steady um, because I'm going to have all this... Um, photographs within so I want it to be really really steady so I so I put two cheap medium weight cheap board and I've punched I went ahead and punched my holes and then I want the um, and I want to wrap it around with some silk silk okay well this is not okay this is obviously not silk satin okay some satin so the first layer I just did it smaller because I have a binding here so this is the first two foams then the cheap board and then another chipboard. Uh, the edge over here is slightly out on the standing up on the upside, but on the downside, I need this to be completely flat because it's at the end of the day, is you know it will be standing here, so I cannot have uneven. Um, and the foam will be the front, and I'm going to sort of put this together and see how it goes. <laughs> okay, see you once I'm done. Next, I'm going to wrap it up with the satin um, cloth, ribbon cloth that I showed you. But before that, I thought I would show you how the um, the raw chipboard looks in the end after pasting all the layers. <laughs> I think that got to be a more efficient way of doing this. I'm probably getting, getting thicker foam, thicker felt, thicker cloth, uh, thicker chipboard. I don't know, but um, this is what I have and I'm just making use of it.
I'm really surprised at how it turned out. I mean, of course, I had in mind that um, I want to replicate an angled photo frame, uh, but I wasn't too sure whether it would be sturdy enough um, because a lot of the mini albums that you know I've seen and I've done as well, um, the covers are usually uh, you know tend to topple over because the inside is just so thick. So the inside cardboard I use slightly lighter than medium weight chipboard, but there are like six of them. And uh, for the covers, as you know, I use two medium size weight chipboard plus the foam plus crunch board. <laughs> um, and as you can see, it's pretty sturdy. And it's funny because that weekend, I plan to actually um, spend time um, to edit some of the videos of the cards that I've made a couple of weeks back, so I'm also behind. Um, but I came up with this bizarre idea in the morning and I was like thinking, hmm, computer table, scrapbook table, computer table, scrapbook table and as you can see my scrapbook table won and I, I used I used it over the weekend and I came up with this but I'm pretty happy of my about my decision and I guess I would just have to slave over other nights uh, to do you know the the editing of the rest of my videos so let's get right to this so you've seen my front cover as I was doing it all this um, was white I am roses and I'll put the description below of all the types of flowers that I use from I Am Roses. Um, and all these are painted. So this is this is painted in moon shadows. It's a lot of mixed colors, so I can't exactly remember. This I know is red velvet, but I will put the description box of all the colors that I used. I hope that helped a little bit. And you turn it over and it's meant to stand on, on the mantel piece like this so people can flip through it. Like Kathy says, it's a digital scrapbooking photo frame. Um, so over here, I put some stickles. Can you see that? I outline on the flowers with some diamond stickles um, just to give it the extra shine and interest. And then here's the first page, just a floral edger, Martha Stewart punch. And then over here, um, I did the red border frame. And then what I did was also, uh, this is the Maya Rhodes Love Collection uh, chipboard. And then I covered this black with black flock. Oh, gorgeous. I think it's a doodle bug one. And then I outlined the heart again with the uh, red uh, cardstock so it sort of look like you know the borders is sort of flowing or oh, this red is like part of the borders pretty cool eh um, then uh, just a rose uh, I am roses I put it there and um, as you can see from the front cover the theme of this is first Corinthians 13 it talks about what all love is so it's love um, it's hope it gives you hope lots of joy most definitely uh, okay, then here I think I got a bit <laughs> digress uh, away from the theme. Actually, when I was doing this page, I didn't think of the theme yet um, until I came over to this page. Well, okay, not this page, but okay, but the pages later. And I say, hey, you know, I think I should do a theme about love and First Corinthians 13. So this is slightly out of theme, yikes. But I still kind of like it how it came out. I think this um, uh, Rabons from the Seven Gypsies. Uh, really match the papers and here's a black satin ribbon it's about I think an inch uh, sorry more than an inch and this is like slightly less than an inch <laughs> um, and I just lay it the two satin ribbons together just like um, as if it's like you know just the formal black and red wedding card theme um, and this pictures was taken at my pre-wedding um, I mean just before we got married um, at a studio, at a friend's studio, uh, our friends wanted to take pictures of us and um, he had a studio and said, hey, come, come over. And I was like, okay, sure, free pictures, <laughs> why not? Um, this is the Lush black and white breads. Um, you can see if you can recognize the patterns. And then um, some blings, Prima pearls, and again, I am roses with um, some of the black uh, crystals as well. And of course, you need your interactive tags, even though it's a photo frame. And here again, I put some of the I Am Roses as well. I layered it. And uh, a black crystal bread from the Lush collection. 
and then over here again um, an interactive piece just showing you the lush bread I really love this collection let me see um, here it's this one here where well, I kind of cut it up so I can squeeze it in my drawer but really really nice um, really like this collection and if you and you can open this this is covered with a magnet and here are the pictures and then we open this it says some um, of course love is kind make trust and protect and this is the Moroccan Fiskars punch and then you close it with the magnet so love is look out for others and of course love is patience and finally love never fails so my hubby was saying that you know i, sh I should have put this picture it doesn't really match with the finale um and no you should put a picture of us like walking under sunset or something but i was like yeah okay we do have those pictures but it's not in a red red chong sum so <laughs> okay me a sticker for theme colors so if any of your ladies are inspired to make a photo frame, uh, just send me the link. I would love to see how yours turned out. And I'm quite sure it probably turned out more fantastic than mine. But um, I think that's just great um, in the scrapper's world, you know, because everyone just give each other's um, ideas and inspirations. And I get a lot of inspirations from all your ladies as well. Um, just want to thank you for all your lovely comments. Uh, it really makes my day and I read every one of them. Uh, for questions, of course, please do let me know. No, I'm always I'm happy to answer them and usually I give priority to answering um, the questions uh, that's left in the comments place uh, if I mean if I, if I can answer them if I know the answers um, and um, hope to catch you all ladies soon on the next video bye L is for the way you look at me O is for the only one I see V is very very extraordinary E is even more than anyone that you adore can love is all that I can give to you love is more than just a game for two Two in love can make it Take my heart and please don't break it Love was made for me and you